tiga tonyo le chingwa na chomo acting uh, inspector general Douglas Kanja no mo director we ke mbeke ke botu kinova sala DCI Amin awa kwa na na baliki ba mangana chinsa chinke cha etire igoronga na ki ba nyartwa ba ko mobeka biara mo kagerwa omonene aso boiti na gotugute mebere a sense mo ya kwari kuare ime ye county ya Nairobi niko bate abire ba mubegete biara ko bwatekana nigarenge ase enyombe mo yoko egokia oyuo ligire tio mopira oyuo le wa kwa lituko ya Igor assistimu ya Spain ya nyora to bobiwe kombe kia Euro 2024 yango to tigerere na koligire ya chinkwana cha babirabo early this morning at around 1 we arrested the prime suspect named Collins Jumaisi Harucha. We did recover, yesterday we did recover one more body, bringing the total to nine bodies recovered so far. The post mortem examinations are happening today. We call upon any member of public with information that may aid the police in identifying the bodies or those who have cases of their missing persons to report to the DCI headquarters or the nearest police station. With respect to the, to the very Kenyans who have lost their loved ones through this tragedy, we wish to give our reassurance that we are working tirelessly to conclude these investigations. We thank the members of the public who continue to assist us in the search process and continue to appeal to the public to remain calm and give officers space to handling the scene. In our relentless efforts to deliver justice to the quarry dumping site murders, and for us to give closure to the devastated families. We have this morning arrested the prime suspect, already identified to you guys by the Acting Inspector General, known as uh, Collins Jumaisa Halusha, 33 years old. The suspect was arrested at uh, Soweto in Kayole sub-county this morning at around 3 a.m. in a joint operation by the DCI and the National Police Service officers. He was arrested outside a club where he had gone to watch the Europe 2024 football finals. His pursuit and subsequent arrest followed a very thorough forensic analysis of a mobile phone that belonged to one of the victims, namely Josephine Mulongo Owino, where some mobile money transactions were conducted on the very, very day uh, Josephine went missing. Upon arrest of the suspect, he led our officers to his single room rental house in Quarry which is located about 100 meters from the crime scene. That is the quarry dam, where the bodies and the body parts have been recovered. We conducted a quick search in the house, which led to recovery of the following very, very crucial exhibits. <laughs> 